Hello! Welcome to Anime Mystics. I'm Roman. And tonight I am watching Kimetsu no Yaiba episode 12. So last episode we were introduced to... I cannot remember his name. But he wears the yellow outfit we see in the uh, opening theme. He's got the, like, lightning powers with his sword. Um, we met him at the end of episode 10. But it was very brief. In this one, we're actually introduced to him. Where he is basically on his knees, crying, begging some girl to marry him. Because he's going to die soon. <laughs> uh, his sparrow came over to uh, Tanjiro. I think that's his name. Asking for help to <laughs> get him off of the girl. Um, so he goes over and he grabs him. And he's yelling at him, what do you think you're doing? She's obviously not into you. Why are you bothering her? And he recognized him. He's like, it's you from the selection exam. And uh, Tanjiro's like, I don't know you. <laughs> and he goes, what do you mean you don't remember me? We were... <laughs> and he kind of explains a little bit. And you, kind of, you see Tanjiro thinking. And you just see him kind of looking over at the guy. Because he's like talking to himself like mumbling to himself and then he looks back and that's basically the only time he really saw him um then he goes over to the girl and apologizes says okay it's all taken care of you can you know you can go home he's not gonna bother you anymore she thanks him and then the other guy is like what are you doing don't get in my way she's about to marry me and the girl walks over and just starts slapping him once across the face, and then the rest are like on the top of the head because he's guarding himself. And she's like, I never said that I loved you. I'm not going to marry you. I already have a fiance. You were on a, like, rolled up, curled up in a ball on the side of the road, and I came to see if you were okay. And then she just walked off. <laughs> anyway, uh, they're hanging out together now. Uh, he's following uh, Tanjiro around, saying that he has to protect him. Um, because they're headed to this mission, and they end up going to this house that's like in the middle of the woods, and these two kids are out there, and they explain that this person came and took their brother, uh, a demon, came and took their brother, um, and the other dude is freaking out, <laughs> like seriously freaking out crying, yelling, saying that they should go. He does not want to be there. He doesn't want to have anything to do with this. And that's when a dude gets tossed out of the second floor story window. Hits the ground. He's dead. Uh, he goes over... Uh, Tanjiro goes over to check him out to see if he's okay. And he, Well, obviously, he's not. And he's kind of parading himself a little bit because if they would have gotten there a little sooner they could have saved him I think at this point he's thinking that it's the kid's brother so they ask is this uh and they're like no that's not him so they kind of breathe a sigh of relief like okay we could still save the, his brother but he's still upset that this guy had to die um and then him oh he leaves Nezuko with the kids um and tells them to stay there with the box. That even if something happens while they're in the house, they will still be protected. Because Nezuko is in there. They don't know that. And he probably didn't want to mention it. <laughs> it would be a little weird saying, my sister's in this box, she'll help you when anything happens. Uh, that'd look a little weird. Sound a little weird. And all kinds of other stuff. But he and the dude in the yellow end up going into the house. And he's trying to get Tanjiro to you know say that he's going to protect him that he's not going to leave his side I think Tanjiro gave this dude like a disgusted look at least four times in this episode and every single time he's like why are you looking at me like that stop looking at me like I'm trash and <laughs> I like this guy he's funny uh, anyway the kids end up going into the house and he's like what are you doing in here I told you to stay with the box and they're like, there was scratching from coming from inside the box. And he's like, 
I know. You should have stayed with the box. Uh, and I forget what happened. They opened a the door. And then you hear some drums. And uh, the dude in the yellow ends up knocking Tanjiro into a room. And then all the rooms, like, switch. Like, they randomly just switched into different rooms. Him and the little girl end up... Uh, Tanjiro and the little girl end up together. And the brother... The little brother and the dude in the yellow end up together. And he's trying to leave. He's like, I do not want to be here. Tanjiro is gone. We should probably just go. And he's trying to get out of the, the house, but the door they came in is no longer leading outside. It leads to like a pantry area or something. And he's freaking out even more now. I think even the kid was giving him a disgusted look. <laughs> They do end up finding this one dude, the du the other dude in the uh, opening with the boar head on his boar head mask on, uh, and he just starts booking it down a hall, and uh, Tanjiro and the little girl, they end up finding the demon. It's the other one in the opening <coughs> that has those drums like on his chest. Uh, whenever he like hits one of them. It randomizes the rooms. Anyway. He was about to attack him. And the dude hits... The demon hits one of them. And it like flips the room. Like I guess whichever ones he hits. Is whatever happens to the house. And the one he hit flipped the room. So... They like... I think the floor was now on the, the wall. And everything was falling over. But they were fine. Um, I think everything that kind of fell over was already closer to the, the wall that was now the ground. Excuse me. And then before Tanjiro can do anything, the dude with the boar head mask comes in through a window talking about how he's finally found him, talking about the demon, and charges at him. So, yeah, that's where it ended. <laughs> now let's get into this because uh, I think I said it last week I'm pretty positive that this is kind of like an Usopp situation with this dude in the yellow it's very cowardly but I can pretty much guarantee especially since he's already a part of the demon hunting core that if things do go down and he needs to he's gonna do some serious damage <laughs> it's pretty much a guarantee alright so video is gonna be located over here and the link to the reaction is gonna be in the description down below also I got popcorn so don't mind me if I'm if I eat uh, okay so we're going to start this episode in three, two, one.